Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on business letter formats. Students, before presenting today's lesson, let me remind you the previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we have learned that a business letter is one of the methods of communication within and between organizations. The components of a business letter are the heading, the inside address, the salutation, the subject or reference line, the body of the letter, the complementary closing, signature block, and notation. Students, today we will be learning about business letter formats and the principles of business letter writing. Writing a business letter requires selecting one of the common styles or formats. These common styles or formats include the block letter, the semi-block letter, the alternative block letter, and the simplified letter formats. Selection of the appropriate format depends on the ones commonly used in the organization or on the situation in which we are writing. First, let us discuss the simplified letter formats. If the writer lacks the name of the individual or department to write to, the simplified letter format can be used. In a simplified letter format, paragraphs are unindented. The salutation and complementary closing are omitted. All elements are flush with the left margin. Students, except the simplified letter format, all the other three are accepted styles. The three accepted types of business letter styles or formats are the bloke style, the modified bloke style, and the semi bloke style. The following pictures show what a one page business letter looks like. The horizontal lines signify lines of type. Let us discuss the bloke style letter format. Block letter format arranges all letter parts at the left margin. As you can see from the figure, in the block format, paragraphs are not indented. All letter elements are flush with the left margin. The second accepted style of business letter is the modified block style. In this style of business letter writing, Paragraphs are not indented. The return address, reference line, date, complementary closing, and signature block are right of center. The remaining elements are flush and with the left margin. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have one minute. The question is, in a modified bloke style business letter, which parts of the letters are aligned towards the right?
Students, have you discussed the parts of letter which is aligned to the left and right in a modified block style? Good. Let's now provide you the answer. In modified block style letter, the following parts of a letter are aligned towards the right. Sender's address, date, complementary close, and signature block. The third type of business letter style is the semi-block style. In the semi-block style of business letter writing, paragraphs are indented usually an equivalent of five spaces. The return address, reference line, date, complementary closing, and signature block are right of center. The remaining elements are flush with the left margin. Students, now it is time to do some exercises. This is a group exercise. So form a group consisting of four members just at your seats. Identify the different formats of a business letter and state their differences.
Students, did you enjoy the discussion? I'm sure you did. Now let's do the exercises together. There are three main types of business letter formats. These are the bloke format, the modified bloke format, and the semi bloke format. In the bloke format, all letter elements are flush with the left margin. In the modified bloke format, the return address, reference line, date, complementary closing, and the signature block are right of center. And in the case of semi bloke formats, the paragraphs are indented with five spaces where this is not the case for the above two formats. Students, now let's move to the second part of today's lesson, which is about the principles of business letter writing. Writing business letters and memos differs in certain important ways from writing reports. The following are some of the important considerations or principles to be used while writing business letters or memos. A. Let the reader know from the very beginning what your letter is about from the very first sentence. B. If you are responding to a letter, identify that letter by its subject and date in the first paragraph or sentence. C. Keep the paragraphs of business letters short because business letters are usually read rapidly. D. When you compartmentalize the contents of a business letter, place each different segment of the discussion or each issue of the letter in a separate paragraph. E. List or itemize whenever possible in a business letter. This is because listing helps to spread out the text of letter, to make it easier to pick up the important points rapidly. One way of itemization is using bullets. F. Find positive ways to express bad news in your business letter. G. Focus on the recipient's needs, purposes, or interests instead of your own. Students, now let's have a more detailed discussion on each of the above principles of writing business letters. The first principle is state the main purpose or subject matter right away. When business people open a letter, their first concern is to know what the letter is about, what its purpose is, and why they must spend their time reading. For example, if you are applying for a vacancy to an organization, you may begin the first paragraph as follows. Based on the vacancy announcement made through the MarsJobs.net posted on August 12, 2012, I would like to apply for the position of a salesperson in your esteemed organization, enclosing all my bio data and copies of testimonials. The second principle is when responding to a letter, identify letter by its subject and date. If you are responding to a letter, identify that letter by its subject and date in the first paragraph or sentence. For example, the following sentences can't be used to respond to a letter of inquiry. Thank you for your letter of inquiry dated September 1st, 2012. 
We are pleased to code for you as per your request of your letter as follows. The third principle when you write a business letter is keep the paragraph short. The following paragraphs of a business letter are short and time-saving for the reader and at the same time complete. We are planning to launch a practical computer training program in the coming academic year. We thus require 30 most up-to-date personal computers, 2,000 double high-density diskettes for the training program we carry out. Could you therefore supply these items on the usual trade terms? We hope to hear at your earliest convenience. The fourth principle when writing a business letter is classify the contents of the letter. For example, in a letter of application, state why you are writing in the opening paragraph, how you learned of the organization or position, and basic information about yourself. Tell why you are interested in the position or organization in the second and third paragraphs and end your letter with a statement of action that you will do next in the fourth paragraph. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the student sitting next to you. You have two minutes. The question is, list some more principles of business letter writing you are required to apply. Students, have you listed principles of business letter writing? Good. Let's now provide you the answer. When someone is going to write a business letter or a memo, he or she has to take the following principles into account. Let the recipient know the all abouts of the letter at first. Identify a responding letter by its subject and date at the first paragraph. Keep the paragraphs as short as possible. Classify the contents of the letter. List or itemize a business letter. Use positive ways to express bad news. Focus on the recipient's interest. Students, 
Before we wind up today's lesson, let me summarize what we have been learning so far. The three main formats of business letters are the bloke style, the modified bloke style, and the semi bloke style. We have also learned the important principles of writing business letters or memos. Students, next time we will be learning about form letters and memoranda. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher, goodbye students.